Come on, girlies. Um, interval canter work with Brody. Probably last bit of proper canter work before Osberton today. I am going out uh, around a field about six minutes, two six minutes lots. I'd ideally do three, but I've got to go and have my hair done. So, yeah, off we go. Yes. So th this is the after. It's much better than the before. Love my hairdresser. Full team out today while they set up for the Bobby Show. We've got everyone out. Wait, we're still doing a stirrup. Funny enough, this year I've spent more time with the hounds walking them out than just since she's been busy doing other things. Um, so we thought that they're doing up there, Pete. Hey, why are you doing up there, Pete? Are you a good girl? Goat beds and my haylage bales. Body up, body up. Body up, body up, body up. Hand low, body up. A lot better. Anybody else wish they didn't have horses when they're feeling crappy and it's chucking it down with rain. <laughs> when your stable has been taken over. Mazette. Mazette, darling, come on. You two will have to come out. Sorry, Mazette, but you're sharing with Rodney and Pete today. So, Brody's getting a clip today. Oh dear, particularly sexy. Um, because we're off to Osberton and he's just starting to get a bit of a thick coat. So, um, yeah. I, I don't think I suit this. Um, anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna give him a clip. Not sure you can tell the difference, but he has been clipped. You can see a little bit. I'm like, He's a good boy, he's always a good boy. I'm going to give him a steam bath later because it's foul now, so I don't want to give him a bath. I've got to ride him yet, so I'll give him a steam bath later with some soda crystals, like a hot, hot cloth wash. But yeah, looking good already. Ooh, a few stripes. Ready to go, temperature taken. That is 7.7 7 this morning.
House brush. bonding with toast. So we've arrived, we're all set up, all neat and tidy. We've got extra layout all there. So yeah, all good. I'm just about to go and have a little hack round on Brody and then I'll get him plattered up ready for the trot up this afternoon. So yeah, all systems go. Taking it all in. Hello. Trousers could do with a little press. I don't have an iron. I know. But that's all right, isn't it? Very smart, Chilly's indeed. Cold. Thank you very much, Tilly. It's, oh, I wonder where you've got that from. Yeah, itchy. Okay. Anyway, I think we should go. Yep. Team all ready for action in the trotter. Thank you, Rody. 
Justine Ward now presents her own Billy Brody, number 181. Yes, you've got to be sound entering the competition. And just Justine too. And yes, they've got a big tick from Billy the Brody, accepted. Oh. Chloe Livesey, yeah, uh, next. Just had a pre run through my test in the arena. He's a good boy. I'm very hot. I've got too many layers on. I've cooked myself. He was a bit awkward to start with, a bit naughty, but not too bad. But yeah, he's gone well. Pleased with that this morning. So this is Brody's luxury stable block. This is his stable. Been beautifully cleaned out by Supergroom. And we're going to walk the course in a minute after we've watched Laura's trust. And Laura's just down there, halfway down there. Just walking back to the lorry. With my trusty trolley. And uh, what we're going to do now. We're going to have a little look at the train stands. Check out the food options. Yes. And then, and then, watch Laura's dressage. Oh, we're having a poo. I am orange. Laura is what? Pink? Yes. And what's my time? Eight minutes. I know, Justine. Exactly. Eight minutes? Yes, it'll be all right. Okay? I'll be exhausted. Jet's done it. It'll be all right. Oh my God. Eight minutes? We're walking the course. And Laura's coming. Hello. 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 Oh dear. You, Justine, you are blue. I'm not. I'm orange. Oh, <laughs> This is 
size. Number two, nice big table. Box. Nice log. So I go round this one. Yeah, but it's the same as last year, isn't it? For A and where's B? Orange there, where that girl is. Yeah, but it doesn't say which. Well, why doesn't it say which one's which? Mine is going to be the one on the left. Yellow, blue and orange are the one in the middle and green is the one on the right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. big drop down to that one. Walking it last year. Well, this looks yeah. nicer than the triple brush, doesn't it? Yeah. Looks nicer than the triple brush. So coming up to the water and it looks like it's just a run through over the log. So that's quite nice. Yeah. So number six. You're not coming round here. Well, it depends. So nice brush trainer. This looks nice. Yeah, you're not better off this side. Yeah. Isn't it? Nice that. This fence is going to be removed on Friday, which means my line of approach is here. Oh, it's just a nice rail up a hill. Kick on. Okay. So you want to be jumping it on the right, really. The three is not much bigger than two The biggest jump, I think, is from. So I'm landing here. Worry about this, says Bossy. I'll get down this bit, Justine. Well, yeah. And then just balance him and go to that. So much jump. I think we're coming up to a corner. Or is it? This is corner. Yeah. Corner to a brush. Corner to a parallel brush. Big question there. To another corner. Over there. Oh yeah. But the okay, I need to concentrate to really put in five. So there, and then on a curve in the middle, really, don't you? I want to be in the middle here, don't I, so that I, I can so. land and turn. I think so. I think you jump that. Get, this is a lovely jump to get over, but if you get close to it, it doesn't matter. No. What you've got to have is enough control for this thing. Yeah, so we've just destroyed fence 8C. So coming up to the water. Looks like there's this shoulder skinny in the water. Oh, to a corner out. Yeah. So this one in, shoulder skinny in, and then a corner out. That's quite meaty. So we we'll jump over that, or you can do that. But if you do that, you've still got to get to B. Through to this, it's not really a shoulder brush, is it? Straight. I think. I think we do this. We've got to aim for this, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, absolutely. A little bit of a let up one now. After combination, 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 corner, corner, corner. It's quite nice. I thought it was a double. <laughs> so realistically, I've got to test him, haven't I, a bit? Yeah, nice. Yeah, yep. 14. I think there's another corner. There's a lot of corners. 14A. That's quite a big parallel, isn't it? 14A. I think this is your course is harder than it was when I did it on jet. It's not flagged, is it? Oh, it is, yeah. 14A. Don't sit on it. 14A. 14B. Just got to think about it as a parallel, yeah? So this is a nice... Let up jump with the toilet. Let up toilet jump. It's quite big, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it'll ride nicely, won't it? Yeah. It's got brush on it, as Caroline was saying. Exactly. Nice big open hedge. It's nice, let up, definitely. Nice house, blue. Looks 
Like I've got a sunken road. 18. Down, up, down. Nice silver birch rails. Yeah. Is this my last fence? No, got another one. This is your second last fence. So oh. don't run out at it, okay? No. So it's come, straight. goes a bit straighter. It's not over till it's over. No, it's not over till the... It'd be really annoying to run out there, wouldn't it? It would be, yes. And then there's a bit of an owl hole, sort of, which Brodie is not a fan of. But um, it will be fine. And that, yeah. as they say, is that. So quite a big fence to finish, but nice, nice course. Plenty of questions halfway around. Corner, corner, combination, corner, corner, combination, corner, corner. So hope we've got our corner practice in. Nice. Look, mac and cheese, man. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. We've been doing some housekeeping, haven't we? Yes, dear. Um, and we've made, I wish we had smelly vision because it's delicious. We've made a nice vegetable curry for later. So that is simmering. Well, it's not, we've turned it off now. And uh, yeah, my dad's been and bought us a lamp because my lights aren't working in the lorry. So that's good. And we're going to take Brody for a hand graze now. Just giving Brody a bit of hand grazing. It's obviously he'd normally be turned out in the field. So just holding him out for a bit of grass and then I'm going to have a jump on him later. Good boy. He's very chilled. He's a good boy. There are the stables over there. It's been looking better. Been on quite a big diet recently. And it's really oops. That was shit filming. Not that was the filming was shit, so don't worry. Anyway, as I was saying, I think he looks all together. Oh, much lighter. Nina. Why is it? Anyway, we're just out having a little practice. You're allowed to come out this time of day. We've had no dressage. Dressage is tomorrow. Bit of a slow day today. Quite a lot of shopping for Justine. Hmm. Nice. Be nice just having a little play. Springs, what? actually looks like an event horse, I think. Ah, oh, yes. Let him go. They're off in the distance. I think she's coming to jump that. Uh, anyway, yes, it's just a bit of play. Get them out of their boxes. He's had a little hand grazing this afternoon. And it's just a bit of, yee, we're ready. Yeah, lovely. This is where he's living. Look at all these horses. Amazing um, undercover, undercover stabling. It's gorgeous. That's Brody at the end. Tack cleaning station. I'm on girth duty. <laughs> and boy, is she finally taking tack and turn out. Seriously. <laughs> A bit of elbow grease going in. Just seen there's a lot more to come off there. I know, uh, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Go away. Oh, Go, is it to... time you had a glass of wine? I'll we'll show you Go the on, after. Go is it time you had a glass of wine? It's cleaned. It's not finished. Almost. The, the perfectionist is just perfecting the last I'm bit. I'm scared of Janet. Oh, because she got, she got soap bubbles in the seam. Oh. She's definitely frowned upon. Can you, don't knock over your glass of wine. Janice would not allow that. Toaster's helping. Aren't you, Toasty? Good girl. 
winter evenings with Fred Brody and then sitting outside Laura's lorry having a beverage and a crisp and a dip. I'm very, very excited and proud to have been asked by Evoke to be one of their sponsored riders, which is hugely exciting and uh, a real honour. And I am going to be showcasing my new Evoke hat at Osberton International, and I'm just about to get on and put my do my dressage. So I've opted for the navy high shine one. Um, it's very smart. Hopefully the judges notice how smart I look in it. Yeah, loving this. It's great. Thank you very much. Evoke. Hopefully it'll bring me luck. Action. Action. My new hat. I look smart. Very smart. I look smart. You got some gloves? Thank you. Got gloves, yeah. Okay. What makes your hat? It's Evoke. Mm. Uh, can we, uh, can we um, stop now and do it? Because he looks so pretty with his head. Little, little twirl. I look smart. You do. Fruity Brody. Excellent. All right. There's Billy Brody going off to warm up, looking so smart. Look at that, look at that bling, Justine. We saw the bra last night. Yeah. <laughs> He looks bloody good, Justine. He looks all right. Good girl. Yeah. yeah. Nicely warmed up. Yeah, we're just going to do a bit through here. Yes. And the... Get him buzzed up in there. I think he's perked up a bit now. I can go in, yeah? What? I can go in. You can go in. I can go in. Do you want to? Rush. Yeah, Maybe we have Janice as trying to boss her around when she listens. Trying to get that medium truck. Hasn't the groom done well? He looked terribly smart. Anyway, we're next in, I think, so I'm going to stop and go and get in position. So, um, I'd given Brody some booster juice because um, he can be very laid back. Um, and it was just like a pre fuel gel. I don't think this made the difference. However, he did when I went into the arena area. Um, it was quite exciting and he did get a bit more lit up. And you'll see behind the boards at the back of the judges box, there was another arena behind there and they were doing some arena eventing. And unfortunately when I went down 
to the, in the very beginning of the of the test, you'll see he uh, somebody clatters through a fence, and he gets uh, quite excited. But uh, just before I went in, he felt excited, but in a good way. I was really pleased. However, he was Lovely very wobbly going trot. down the centre line. Um, Up the centre line. There's a lot of wobbling, not straight. There we go. We both look a bit drunk. Um, backwards and forwards a bit. So I turn left here, and then in a minute you will see us go pow. There you go. Unfortunately, it's just one of those things. That did, his tail was then up in the air and that did then get him quite electric for the next few movements, which obviously didn't help. Um, there were quite a lot of little errors. I mean, he looks gorgeous. But it just, you know, the problem is it wasn't just one movement affected, it, it affected quite a lot. Um, again, my sitting trot is a work in progress. It's, it's, yeah, it's not ideal. It is getting better. I am working really hard at it. This is his leg yield, which, um, because he was just a bit tense, everything was a little bit scrappy. And the really disappointing thing is outside he worked so well. And if he'd have done that in the arena, it would have been a different matter. But, you know, again, that's horses and that's life. A um, little bit of a tilt on. And I think because he was tense, I just grabbed hold a little bit. Um, probably quite rightly, because if I hadn't done it, we'd probably been in the next arena. But... There were some movements that <clears throat> I felt the judges were quite hard. I should have had the test with me here and then I could have relayed what they gave him. Uh, but on the whole, they were very fair comments. Um, you know, he was a little bit tilted. Unfortunately, he jogs in the walk and he never normally jogs in the walk. And he did it twice, which is, you know, immediately gives you a pretty poor mark um, but he did he settled down and he held it together after that so that was good um, and as I say the problem is if each movement you're moving losing a couple of marks it soon tots up and this was my rain back which he's been doing brilliantly and Again, he was just a bit tense. It wasn't very good. But it could have been worse. Janice is not saying much. He's just nodding. That wasn't too bad a transition. Um, again, just a little bit unsteady in his head. I think I'd probably got a little bit tight with him. And I was just holding on a little bit. These felt so much better on top than what they looked. Um, and again, some of these movements, he, he was getting reasonable marks for. But like there, he, he, he changed. I did manage to get the correct lead back, which I was pleased about. But he's not done that once in training or at home. He's not broken once. It's, and again, it's just, you know, nothing really went right on the day. No moments that look nice. That's nice, Canter. But just still a bit unsteady in his head. Um, it just didn't feel like I quite got him, although he wasn't as tense and he was relaxing as the test went through, but he was still quite uh, lively. Um, and just a little bit unsteady in his mouth. I think I'd probably got a little bit strong.
Oh, that's yeah, a bit fiddly. Come on, Justine, stop fiddling his nose. I think at this point I was really relieved to get it over and done with. His halts were better, a little bit wide behind, but yeah. <laughs> On the whole, I was uh, yeah, a bit gutted because he did work in really well. Um, and, uh, you know, it's just, I felt it's like it was all coming together. It looked a bit explosive at the beginning. A little bit. There's some people they were jumping in and they hit a fence and he shot off. Uh. Um, well done. It was all right, wasn't it? Yeah. No. Oh. Quite pleased to have had a shower. Stop pointing at that. Quite pleased to have had a shower. Yeah, me too. It was nice. Um, what we do now? We are going to give Rudy his supper, make him a nice <coughs> bed. Because despite what his score says, he was, he a, was good a very boy. good boy. He was, wasn't he? He was a very good boy. Whether you should have given him the booster injection. Before. Booster juice. No, not injection. Booster juice. Booster juice. Yes, that definitely worked. I'm not sure I'll be doing it again. So, we've just done the quiz. We didn't win. Um, obviously, not in the best position. I mean, I'm in about the worst, most worst position you could possibly be in. But... Uh, I was pleased with him, so that's all you can do. Night checks, rugs on. So I'm going to leave this in as well, which is um, Laura's view from the other end of the arena. Um, I'm not going to talk you through it again. However, I am just going to explain that Brody's score was appalling. He ended up in last place. And whilst I know that there were a lot of things wrong with it and there were, you know, a lot of silly things and it, overall he worked in well, I was pleased with him. You know, there were lots that went wrong. It could have been a lot better. It could have been a lot worse. I really struggle with the fact that I was in last place. I, 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 it really hit me quite hard. I felt mortified for him really um this is where we are Wee um he didn't deserve to be in last place and i know somebody's got to be in last place and the only way is up but it, it really knocked me actually it really made me feel sort of a bit embarrassed i've never ever been last in the dressage um and i don't know why but it, it just mentally really got to me um I think with what then transpired, because you may or may not know, but um, I didn't get to run cross country. I'm sure you all know by now. Um, and maybe it hit me hard because I wasn't 100% uh, well. Um, I'd had a bit of a cold the week before and unfortunately it left me with a viral infection in my inner ear and I woke up the next morning after my dressage and had the most horrendous vertigo. So whether I was feeling run down at this stage, but that e this evening I was really quite low, um, quite depressed about being last, felt a bit embarrassed, um, was sort of thinking, oh my God, am I too old? What am I doing? I'm, I'm too old and bumpy for this um, and had a real downer. I had a long chat with Charlie who basically told me to pull my finger out, get on with it and don't be so ridiculous. Um, and yeah. And so, and I was really looking forward to the cross country. It's not nice being in last place. I know there is the only way is up, but it sort of takes away a bit of your excitement, a bit of the thrill. However, I was really looking forward to riding around the course. He was really good at Cornbury. So it was um, a bit of a step up, but not too much more from on from Cornbury. So I was, I felt prepared, I felt ready. And uh, yes, as I say, I got up in the morning and uh, had a coffee, felt okay. Um, 
bit like headed but not too bad and then I went to feed Brody and on the walk up to the stable block I was really struggling to walk straight um, and keep my head up and the more I walked around the worse my vertigo got um, it was pretty hideous I wasn't going cross country till about four o'clock in the afternoon so I was desperately trying everything to see if I could uh, feel better um, I didn't want to go and see the medic to start with because I thought they'd take one look at me and say, well, you're not allowed to go cross country, um, which is eventually what did happen. I tried to rest. I tried to eat some, you know, the girls were lovely. Um, Jess, Laura and Charlotte were brilliant and got me to have some marmalade on toast to see if my blood sugars were low. Um, and yeah we tried everything i tried the eplin maneuver because i've had slight issues with my ear inner ear in the past and there's a maneuver that can help it but that didn't work laying down helped um i laid down for about an hour and fell asleep that again is very unlike me i don't normally sleep in the day um but i did sleep and charlie eventually came and I thought, let's just have a trot round on Brodie in the exercise field just to see, hopefully if I ride, I won't feel the same as what I am walking round. I got on him, I had a walk round, I wasn't feeling too ba bad, I was slightly deluded, but I went to trot and the vertigo got even worse. I could barely sit upright and I had a... Actually, I actually almost couldn't get off him. Um, it was pretty hideous, and he got quite excited at one stage, so he was going to bolt with me, and I was wobbling all over the place, and it was pretty horrible. We went to see the medics. The medics took one look at me. Uh, I got a problem with my heart rate, was skipping a beat, and they immediately said I wasn't allowed to run. So a very depressing uh morning the next morning really struggled with it mentally so yes this was me trying to rest trying to see if i could feel better do anything possible to feel better but nothing was really working um like i say the vets uh the, not the vets the doctors signed me off and i had to go home very sad end to the season all the dogs one, two, I did three, then four. enter Norton Disney because I didn't want to end the season like that. Um, however, doing, I we had our opening meet and um, whilst it was a big success, I broke my knuckle. And so I thought, you know what, I've had enough this season. It's, it's, the end is the end for this year. And so that was the end of that. Exercise. I'm just about to go for a ride on Mr. St. Lou Mazette. Haven't ridden since Saturday. It's now Thursday because I unfortunately had what they think was a viral infection and chronic vertigo. And it was even worse when I was on the horse. So I've been ill all week, but today's the first day I feel normal. So I am um, just going for a little mooch on the set. See how we get on because it's our opening meet this Saturday and I really need to ride if I can. But obviously if I can't, I can't, but I, I do feel a lot better. So let's see how we get on. Apart from Mr. Perfect being not quite so perfect. And that was okay, I survived. It's fine, I feel all right. Uh, a little bit weak, but all good. Right time feed, Bert and Ernie and Mazette. Although they've got the buckets the wrong way around. There's more in the other bucket, Mazette. FYI. Ernie and Pete, you ready for bed? Hey, Ernie Pete. Okay. Some water. I'm going to take myself to bed. It's the opening meat morning. Uh, 
about to get all the horses ready. And so the madness begins. There's number two, bringing number one's car back. Morning. <laughs> all the animals have been fed. And um, I'm just going to get Cloud and Tay in. Muck out, wake up and start platting. So, my set normally consumes his food um, as quickly as anything. I have to soak it so he doesn't get choked. But he knows, he knows, you know, don't you, Rosette? He knows something's going on this morning and he's not eating it all. Hey, good boy, Manny. Hey. Hey, good boy. Are you getting ready? He said, come on, Mum, get me ready. Come on, Mum, get me ready. You better look after me today because I'm still a little bit woozy. It was just after this um, when I we jumped a fence here and I had to pull out and turn left and he's just spooked a bit because he wanted to go where the hounds were and we would go somewhere else. And he jinked and I caught my finger the wrong side of his neck and I heard it go, felt it go and I said to the little girl that rides next to me, I've just broken my finger Sophie. And that was that, and it was pretty sore, and yeah, swollen up quite a lot. Hence, why I had the suit coming up. Down. It's, 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 this is, I'm doing my best gym impression. Fetish, fetish, fetish. <laughs> <laughs> All home after a very successful day. Well, sort of successful. I've broken my little finger. It's fucking sore. So many apologies for it taking so long for me to to edit and send out this vlog. I really struggled with it. I was really low and down after having to pull out and miss cross country. Um, I then entered Norton Disney, as I said, and had to pull out from that because I broke my knuckle. Um, so the season just didn't really end how I wanted it to. And I just was on a real downer and really struggled uh, mentally a bit. It just felt like a complete damp squib to the ending of the season but he's feeling really well he's had a bit of a holiday and uh he's now come back in and I'm about to start really trying to work on the flat work on my flat work on and his flat work i'm going to get some help with some flying changes and a little trip planned hopefully to simon's i'd love to go down to pippa's i'd like to try and organize that but yeah, it's, um, I know it's taken me ages to get it out and I do apologise and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I've really struggled to edit it because it was 
I just felt really down about it. But anyway, onwards and upwards. All the horses are in and we're busy hunting with our bloodhounds. And I'm going to do a couple of vlogs coming up, um, introducing you to some of the horses uh, in a bit more depth. And uh, hopefully you'll enjoy that. But if thank you for watching. Thank you for being patient. If you like what you see, give me a like. Leave me a comment. I love the comments and share it far and wide. And hopefully see you soon. Bye.